Deans oversee things like school safety, state testing, athletics and other events. And so while the superintendent promised to make sure deans are moved into other open roles, many parents worry all of this reshuffling will cause a ripple effect. I think they need to go back to the drawing board. Confusion and frustration from Thursday's school board meeting spilled over onto social media. Parents asking online why CCSD would even consider cutting programs like the performing arts, athletics, transportation, or magnet schools. I'm concerned with topic 2.01, the, remo the removal of arts and sports program. And if you take these programs away from us, you take the spirit of many students. But CCSD responded saying there are no current proposals to cut those. So Superintendent Dr. Jesus Jara brought up this slide at the school board meeting. He listed those options to explain how he came to his decision to cut deans. I, I understand his position. Do I think that there may be other options out there? Yes. As schools reel from the loss of their deans, many principals are now taking a closer look at their budgets to see how to keep their deans on the payroll. We as principals may have a little bit of wiggle room, but more importantly, I think we're just all going to have to take on more. Under state law, each principal has control over their own budget. That means they can find other ways to move deans into similar roles. Based on the data and the recommendations that I set forth, SOT uh, decided to uh, create those two learning strategist positions um, by uh, using some of our budget money. At Brown Middle School, the principal plans to use funding from a vacant position. Extremely proud of the principal for acting so quick to give us all a little bit of peace. But students and parents at other schools worry principals will find that extra money in other ways. It's most likely that our performing arts department would be the ones with the brunt of the force delivered to them. And principals have until June 26th to set those budgets. Tiana Bonner, Fox 5 News.